be you. Just be yourself. Hello, you lovely lot. Hello, you lovely lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you lovely lot. Welcome to another episode of Super Jug TV with us, Key and Dee. Summer is here and so are the music festivals. Woo! Woo! We want to make sure you are summer ready, so today we have loads of great beauty advice for those long days in the sunshine. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We've got you covered with some essential summer skin and sun care advice. Mm -hmm and Keeks and Laura Shop Cosmetics as they show you how to freshen up your makeup bag on a budget. We love that. We all love to make the most of the vitamin D when the sun finally comes out, but of course, it's important to know how to look after your skin. Here are some of sun care hacks and advice on how to combat those bad skincare habits. Hi guys, it's Sophia here. I am a UK-based skincare, beauty and lifestyle content creator and I'm going to be talking you through some of the bad skin habits I've had to break and what my advice is about them. So one of the first bad habits I had to break when it came to my skincare routine was using the wrong cleanser. So this is one I'm loving at the moment and it is the salicylic acid and ceramide cleanser. Um, because I have acne prone skin, salicylic acid is a really great ingredient I love to incorporate into my routine. So making sure that you're using the right cleanser for your skin type is super important because it's the first step within your routine, whether it be the day or the night. And I really like this one because it foams up. Another thing to note though is that it's not too harsh on your skin. Ceramides are an ingredient that help to repair your skin barrier. So it's really important to ensure you're getting a balance between something that's gonna help your acne, but also not stripping your skin too much. So this is what I mean when I say that you need to be choosing the right type of cleanser for your skin type. So because I have acne prone skin, salicylic acid works perfectly for helping to strip my skin of any excess oil, but also keeping my skin barrier intact with the ceramide. So yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this cleanser and it's one of my main tips. So I hope I'm not the only one who is literally terrible, but this is part of my makeup brush collection and it is so big because I just end up getting too lazy and not cleaning my brushes enough and then buying a new set instead, which is super wasteful and I do not recommend. So when you're using dirty makeup brushes, you're not only potentially causing clogged pores and spreading of any bacteria or any spots you may have, but it's also just generally unhygienic and bad for your skin. So the best tip is to wash them every three weeks with a gentle shampoo. You can use this baby shampoo from Johnson's and a cleaning brush mat, and this one's from Studio London. And it makes it really easy because you don't have to scrub it against your hand or anything with the brush it makes it easy and this is a gentle shampoo which is essential if you don't want to harm your brushes um, but this is something to definitely check depending on if your brushes are synthetic or real this is definitely the better way to be going forward for the environment and for your skin so guys please do not be skimping on washing your makeup brushes so another thing I'm super guilty of having a bad habit of is forgetting my neck and my chest when it comes to cleansing moisturizing and SPF so they're actually the first areas to show signs of aging which obviously if we can prevent we don't want to happen so this is what I'm gonna be using it is a naturally radiant day cream but it also has SPF 15 which is perfect for these kind of areas that may not be super in the Sun this is the naturally radiant brightening day cream and it is infused with plant extracts so nobody wants their face to look 20 and their chest to look 40 It also really gives you a lovely glow. So another bad habit that I had to break, which actually I think a lot of people are probably guilty of making as well, is skipping sunscreen in certain areas. So here is an SPF 50. This is by the brand Hadalabo, which is a Japanese skincare brand. The mistake I was making was just not putting SPF on my neck, on my ears. You have to make sure you're getting your hairline as well. You also have to make sure that you're reapplying your sunscreen during the day. I like to use at least the minimum of SPF 30, but SPF 50 is ideal, especially if you're using retinols or salicylic acid or any active ingredients. So 
So one bad habit that is super easy to kick is pimple popping. Not only is pimple popping really bad because it causes the spread of bacteria around your face and also inflammation, but it causes scarring. So I highly recommend using things like these, which are pimple patches. So these are the Hydra Stars by Starface. They're just these little stars. You pop them on clean skin after you've washed your face in the evening and pop them on and leave them overnight. You can peel them off and basically what they do is encourage healing of the area. They also prevent you itching at it whilst you're sleeping or just generally in the daytime. And they also help to suck out any gunk that you do have that is left over in that spot. So these are amazing for helping to prevent getting any bacteria spreading all over your pillowcase because it just keeps that spot under wraps. So that is it for me guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching and fingers crossed my tips really help if you are working on breaking these bad skin habits and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. That was great! My skin and I are now ready for the summer. Now, when summer comes around, I bet some of you love the ritual of pulling your winter wardrobe out of the cupboard and excitedly replacing it with the clothes you packed away last autumn. The same goes for our cosmetics, but don't worry, it doesn't have to cost a fortune to get all the latest goodies. Let's have a look at this season's essential beauty capsule on a budget. Welcome back to Superdrug TV. I'm Laura Capon, a beauty editor and content creator. And I'm Keats Reed, also a beauty editor and content creator. And today we're here with the Summer Value Makeup Capsule Edit. Got so, it in one. Thank you. Didn't do that a million times ago. <laughs> That's all, no. So what are we working with today, Laura? So as you can see, I've got quite a sensitive skin, but I've got a city break, and I'm also a bit obsessed with colorful eyeliner at the minute. Okay, nice. So that's gonna be Your a key favorite. component of my summer capsule makeup wardrobe. I'm working with, as you can probably see, actually, it's not Your as bad looks, today. Your skin looks incredible. Thank you, I wasn't fishing for that compliment, but I've got very oily skin, and I've got three weddings, but I kind of work with a very limited amount of space in the packing department. Okay, so the first product I'm going in with, I don't have a foundation mm -hmm. because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but in summer, I just hate that feeling of like heavy makeup on my face. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely someone that if I get sweaty, it just slides off. Always the face. Yeah. So I would rather just add a bit of concealer where I need it. Mm -hmm. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's $5.99. This <laughs> concealer is so good because it's really hydrating really kind of creamy. Does it set well despite the fact that it's creamy and hydrating? Yeah, I don't get any creases either. Nice. I will pick kind of like where I'm a bit red. Okay. So I'm always a bit red here. Quite a few areas of redness. Apparently. Yeah, it's really doing, <laughs> doing the job there. If you want the no makeup makeup look, mm -hmm. just saying. <laughs> so I would just do that. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna show me your summer base? If my brows aren't done, I don't look Done. I could have the best base ever and it just wouldn't look good. And I actually love the NYX brow liner, the wet one, the like the fine liner. The brow pen. Yeah. It's so that NYX brow pen is so good. That is actually what I tend to use from, throughout the year, but then in summer I'll use a pencil because I feel like it lasts better. So this is the NYX micro brow pencil. I use the shade black. I think it is my most expensive choice. I just follow the line of the natural line of my brow and just thicken it up and then just do a little bit at the front. Look at that brow. It's a very fine difference, but... No, you can tell. You can tell. I've got brow envy. Thank you. Anyway, these are my brows. They look great. Thank you. I'm gonna use my lipstick. Uh, as your blush. Nailed it. Got it. So this is the e.l.f. Seriously Satin um, Lipstick, and I picked the shade Nectar. I felt like this was a very me shade. <gasps> that is oh, so nice. Oh, I think I nailed it. I think you really did. So I quite often use my lipstick as blush. Do you? I love blush, so I normally pick out a blush. I like to blend out, but this is ugly. <laughs> but with your foundation brush, if you've gone a bit overboard. My next product is actually a bronzer, but I'm not gonna use it as a bronzer, because I'm an artiste. Um, so it's... <laughs> It's the MUA Bronze Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Solar. And I'm actually gonna use this as a setting powder just to set around my nose, my chin, and my forehead because it's matte and it's pretty much dead on my shade because it's got a warm, warm undertone. It won't make me look flat, is what I'm nice. saying. Nice. Yeah. So I literally just put it around my nose like this around my cheek, but not on where I've just done my cheek. And would you take that with you for um, touch-ups? I would. 
and on top of my nose there and then just on my forehead this is so nice because it's not chalky at all it just helps yeah, to that kind warmth, of yeah. make sure that everything's set down you know i said i was obsessed with colorful eyeliner yeah this bad boy i didn't even know you could get a super drug so it's a brand called super beauty it's so bright it's in the shade fanny pack <laughs> okay and it's uv as well so if i was to go yeah so this is where my budget went wow but this is really unique but look how green that is with that mine. is so good do they come in other colors yeah and they're all like neony and they do a palette with all the colors in but do you see like that's so fun that's where my budget went but i feel that's really unique and that would last you forever as yeah well. you'd never get through it but yeah they have a palette that has like a blue a yellow a green so if you're doing any festivals my final product is a lip gloss and it's the nyx butter gloss so this is spiked toffee as you can see it's like a it's basically a nude but it's a lighter nude than the nude that my lip liner is so i think it gives a really nice contrast Anyway, this is our final look. I'm gonna buy the palette version of that. I think yeah, I kind of want the palette so version. Fun. I feel like I have to come closer for you to really see it, but yeah, to appreciate the moment. Can I lean in? The thumbnail. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, guys. I am definitely going to be bagging myself some of those products. I don't know about you, but I am feeling all the summer vibes after all of that. Oh, yeah. Do remember to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you're here first when the next Superdrug TV episode drops. Next week, we continue celebrating summer festival season with some ideas and inspiration you won't want to miss. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.